oh this video is about Arduino MIDI so to start with you use the MIDI library which allows MIDI communications over a standard serial port so <coughs> it basically just sets the baud the to like 32k uh, which is the standard MIDI baud rate and then uh, allows sending of MIDI note and program change, control change, and all this other stuff. <clears throat> so you can not, get, I'm not going to get into how to use the library, but basically, usually it's interfaced directly to a uh, 5 pin MIDI port uh, use, using optocouplers and the standard circuit but in this case I wanted to be able to use the USB directly and then uh, the first project that I saw that did this was the Mac Infinity so it's basically a MIDI foot controller and this guy programmed it using a Teensy uh, which is like an Arduino clone but instead of using the old-fashioned 5-pin port, he uses the USB port to act as a, uh, a USB MIDI device. So the way he did that was using the LUFA library. So LUFA is basically... <sighs> allows USB-enabled AVR microcontrollers to be enumerated as HID or MIDI devices which use standard drivers on most operating systems. So, uh, down here there's user projects powered by LUFA. So I click on this link and I found one. It's called Hidduino. So a USB MIDI replacement firmware for Arduino Uno. They, are, they have firmwares for the Mega as well. So basically, the Uno, the Mega 2560, and I saw something around here for the Dewey as well. So non-older boards. So it doesn't work on the Leonardo or older boards. Any cheap knockoffs. Pretend to be a, but not, not work. So as long as it doesn't use an FTD, FTDI chip and it, it's using an AVR chip, whether it's the 8U2 or the 16U2, then uh, if you can see the chip itself in this image uh, of the UNO, uh, the chip is located usually right by the USB port, and then there's these 6-pin headers that allow in-circuit programming. Since you can't hook up the uh, USB there, there is a way to do it. You have to put it in DFU mode and stuff like that, and then you can ena enable programming of this via the serial port, or you can get a USB Teeny, which is five dollars, and then uh, it's a less easier to screw it up because you, you just plug this in and then uh, program it using some command lines. And then uh, you can program this small chip to act as a MIDI device. So you would use the standard MIDI library, program your Arduino uh, to communicate over serial port 0, and then you would use your USB T to hook up to the, the header, the in circuit programming header of the, the USB chip and then program that using the Hiduino firmware. So they have compiled firmwares already. And then, so you can see it says USB serial USB for the Dewey, which uses the 16U2, or the, and the, or the Mega, which uses, and there's two different versions of that, and as well as the Uno, so you have to figure out which version yours has. Uh, whether it's the 16U2 or the 8U2. And then uh, in order to compile this you need AVR 
you could actually compile it from source uh, using WinAVR, it says here. So you could actually compile it. <clears throat> In my experience, you have to have various versions, there's various versions of the, the uh, Lufa library, uh, and it, certain versions don't compile properly, like you have to compile the, get the source code for the correct version. And, uh, so, I don't know, so that's kind of a pain in the ass if you wanted to compile from source, but luckily here, in this project, at least it has actually, the firmware is already compiled. So then you just run that, and then your Arduino, once you unplug it and plug it back in, it'll enumerate as a MIDI device, uh, which will show up in any, uh, you know, MIDI software. As a, as a regular MIDI device, and it also it'll show up as a MIDI device. You can connect it to uh, an Android or an iOS device, and it will work as well. So then <clears throat> you you have better compatibility, and you don't have to use you know MIDI to the five pin MIDI serial adapter of any sort. So it's it's uh, makes makes it easier. You less you need less stuff to carry your gear around, which is cool. So that's it. So thanks. Thanks for watching. Comment. Uh, if you have any questions, you want to see me actually do this. I could set up an actual demonstration of how to do it. But uh, I didn't feel like it. So we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching. Bye.